So Twitch is well known for favoritizing all female streamers on their platform and being very sexist and basically not giving a fuck what women do on their platform pretty much. And this is more evidence with a female streamer who basically got fucked on stream and got a seven day banned. And even another woman, she was banned for a week. She made a joke about going to storm into Twitch's HQ and basically do a terrorist attack. And she only got banned for less than a month. Like, what the fuck is this? And this all started because Gideon made a video talking about how Twitch is very sexist and favoritizing all female streamers over all the men creators. And probably a tiny bit racist, to be honest. Because this female streamer got fucked by her boyfriend and only got banned for a week. Whilst Gideon got banned for a week, but then it ended up escalating to a permanent ban because he spammed L's and got all his chat to spam L's in Pokimane's Twitch stream. And he was all apologetic after, but no, no, no. If you want to make fun of their favorite Twitch streamer, you're going to get permanently banned no matter what. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Pokimane has done worse shit in the past than Gideon, and she has still got a fucking platform because they paid millions for her to have a contract with them. And honestly, that's the reason why I fucking hate Twitch in general. They favoritize all the female streamers, the men have basically no chance, and they do one thing wrong, we're fucking permanently banned. If I was on Twitch, I'll be banned in a week, most likely. And back to what I was saying about Gideon, on his first day of being verified by Twitch, he jokingly went on Pokemon's Twitch stream and told his chat to spam L's, and he was like, oh, bro, if you got a penis, she ain't gonna fuck you. I thought it was a hilarious stream, to be honest. Yeah, it was a dick move, but it was hilarious. Come on, Pokemon can't take a joke or criticism at all. But if Gideon gets banned for that simple of a thing, why isn't the Twitch streamer literally banned for throwing her cat over her fucking head, feeding her cat vodka, which is actually poisonous to cats, and also having a dog basically love her way too much, I'm not going to say what I thought she was doing on this video, and also she had a nip slip on camera basically showing nudity to all her fans, which some of them could be underage as well, you know, free porn on Twitch, you know. She also admitted that she did marriage frauds to get into Canada. So I married a Canadian. And I came to Canada. <laughs> and then I divorced them. <laughs> oh wow, that's the most funniest thing I've ever heard of them. Yeah, it's, it's funny to fake marriage. <laughs> funny as fuck. Also, her abusing the copyright system against PewDiePie live on Twitch because he called her an ephot. And I'm sorry, to be honest, she basically is. And I fucking dare you, Eleni, try and copyright claim this shit. And also with all of Pokemon's dramas as well, that's even happened on her Twitch channel. With her abusing the copyright system and saying she was in a legal right to take down Bo Blacks' video, even though he was under fair use to use her tweets in a video because you don't get money for them, but she still doubled down and said that she was in a legal right to take down the video, so she abused the copyright system, but yet she still gets to stay on Twitch. And because there's a Gundam talked about her simps, she went crazy on stream and attacked his fucking sponsors out of everything. Yet she's still on the fucking platform. People try to say, oh, she might have got banned from that situation. No, she took a fucking month off after that because she felt like she had mental health drain. Yeah, I'm not judging anyone who had mental health drain, but she clearly did it to dodge the fucking blame. And Pokemon's done much worse than that. Yes, she's made an apology video on it. Yes, she's apologized for all that shit. But the thing I'm trying to say is, she has never been banned once. The one time I even know that she got fucking banned was when she streamed anime. She had Twitch's hands tied at that point because it's all against an anime company. Obviously, they're going to have to ban her for a week, but it's a week. I think some male content creators got banned for like a month or something. I don't know. It's probably permanently banned. I'm not too interested in that situation because they're all fucking idiots for doing that situation. And women get away with so much on Twitch. I'm not being sexist or nothing, but it's fucking true because Twitch... Twitch's platform is fucking broken and they need to fix it quick. Otherwise their platform is going to go downhill faster than a guy from Grown Ups in Attire. And honestly, at this point, they should just give Gideon back his fucking Twitch channel because he's always been, he's been way apologetic, more apologetic than any female streamer I've seen after his situation he got in with Pokemon. But honestly, they won't do that because they're pretty much racist, sexist and favoritism. Those three things are stopping him from getting back on the platform because... They don't care about Gideon, they care about Pokemon, a litany, Amrav, all those fucking creators. I only know those free Twitch streamers because I don't watch Twitch. So that's my little rant done. I just wanted to talk my mind on what I think about this entire Twitch situation, which honestly, anything Twitch does these days is obviously bad. And a lot of people have asked me when I stream on YouTube, why don't you stream on Twitch? Well, this is the fucking reason, because favoritism. YouTube has no problem with that. Yes, YouTube has gone a bit of shit recently with the Corey Kenshin thing for being a bit racist towards him. But this is the first thing I've heard about YouTube from what they've done. So YouTube literally gets a pass on this because obviously Twitch has done way worse shit 
for the entire time they've had a platform. So that's the reason why I don't stream on Twitch. And with all that, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary video. I know this video doesn't have as much editing as I usually do. I just wanted to record this video, edit it down as quick as I can and upload on my channel just to put my opinion out there on what I think of the situation. I'll leave a link in the description for Gideon's video that he made on this entire situation that happened to him. And I'll also leave a link to Bo Blacks' videos on Litany and Pokemon because he's talked about all of their dramas and I've watched them probably about five times because he covers everything on Twitter and it's amazing. I highly recommend you guys subscribe and watch his videos. And let's hope my next commentary video isn't about drama. But still, hashtag respond Twitch and give Judy on his Twitch channel back because you guys are doing a terrible job with your fucking platform. I know it's a bit different from my other content, but if you guys like this sort of thing, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.